What's up guys, Justin here with the Fusion Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a quick tip that allows you to arrange your dimensions in your plans really quickly. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is one of the example models contained inside of the sample models under drawings. It's just the connector joint model right here. But let's say that we wanted to take this model and create a plan using this model. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the drawing function and click on from design. Right here, we've got this selected and we're gonna click on okay. And so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring in a top view. The scale's maybe going to be, we'll do a one to 0.5. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick shaded with hidden edges in the top view. And we wanna go ahead and we wanna dimension this model. And so say we've got a series of dimensions like these. There's nothing really wrong with anything that we've done with these dimensions, but the problem is some of them are kind of on top of each other. They're not spaced out very well. Well, there's actually a function in here where you can take your dimensions and you can arrange them um, really quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate arrange dimensions. I'm gonna pick a base dimension and then I'm gonna pick the dimensions to move. So in this case, these are gonna be the dimensions to move, the second and third ones. I can just click on them. Well, when I do this, there's an option here to set the spacing. And so when I set the spacing, what that's gonna do is that's gonna space out the dimensions based on that length that I selected in here. And so in addition to having the ability to set the spacing of your dimensions, you've also got the ability to line dimensions. And so in this case, instead of um, when we pick arrange dimensions, instead of picking the option for stack, we can pick the option for a line. And when we do that, what we can do is we can select a base dimension like this one, and then select the other dimensions that we want aligned with this. We can click on the OK button right here. What that's going to do is that's going to take all of those and move them out so that they're aligned in your drawing. Now, in this case, we might take a couple of these and drag them back back in like this, but you can use this in order to quickly align dimensions directly inside of Fusion 360. So another option that you have in here is the ability to work with a baseline dimension. So what that means is that means that you can pick an existing linear dimension like this one, and notice how this is gonna start a new dimension based on whatever length you pick in here. So I can use this to add multiple different dimensions in here. Notice how they're kind of like stepping out like this. See, so you can use one edge, I'm gonna hit the enter key in order to close out of this, or you can use one dimension as a baseline. Notice how these are all coming off of that same reference point, but then you can measure different distances based off of this base point right here. So this is actually a really quick way to add this kind of like additional detail based on a reference of how far things are from one end of the object or another. All right, so that's some tips for working with dimensions in Fusion 360. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, anything like that. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.